So it turns out that this is true. How do you show that something is a subspace? Well, the first thing you have to do is show that zero is in the subspace. Well, if we take any vector x in v, then the question is, is zero perpendicular to x? Because if zero is perpendicular to x, where x is an arbitrary vector in v, then it must be the case that zero is in the set of all possible vectors that are perpendicular to all the vectors in v. And notice that that's true, because the dot product of the zero vector with any vector is zero. What if we're given two vectors x and y, both of which are in v perp? What we would like to show is that the sum of those two vectors is also in v perp. Well, how do we show that? Well, we take x and y to be in v perp, and we take an arbitrary vector z in v, where we put no restrictions on what z is at all. What we need to show is that x plus y is perpendicular to z. In other words, that the dot product of the vector x plus y with the vector z is zero. Now let's work through that. First thing we do is distribute. And then we recognize that since x and y are in v perp and z is in v, each of these equals zero. But what that means is that x plus y quantity dot product with z is also equal to zero for all vectors z and v, and therefore x plus y must be in v perp. We're not quite done. We also need to show that if you take an arbitrary scalar and an arbitrary vector x in v perp, then alpha times x is also in v perp. Again, take an arbitrary vector z in v. What we need to show is that alpha times x is perpendicular to z. But alpha x transpose z is equal to that. But we know that x transpose z in a product of x with z is 0. So now you get alpha times 0. But you know that alpha times 0 is just 0. We conclude that alpha times x is also in v perp. And therefore, we now know that v perp is actually itself a subspace.